Okay, let's do this fucking shit. October, you awesome motherfuckers. How you doing? It is your pal Chris, aka Mr. Ramon420, and I'm back with the brand new review. And this review is coming from the good people of over at Unearth Films, and they've asked me to check it out and see what I thought of it. And it is the fourth installment of the American Guinea Pig series entitled American Guinea Pig Song of Solomon. It's written and directed by Stephen Barrow and Sir Stephen as well, along with Jim Van Bubber. Jessica Cameron and Jean Palabicki. I think that's how you say Jean's last name. If not, sorry, Jean. It's basically the nice little tale of what goes wrong when you have an exorcism around. Oopsie! So the film starts off with a stepfather yelling at his stepdaughter, asking her why she's making all these horrible accusations about him. Basically, that he's raped her, that he's killed animals, he's killed family members, he's just done horrific, horrific things. And he's not sure why is this happening, she's not answering. And he's freaking out and he has a knife in his hand. He's not sure what he's going to do, so he decides to kneel down and pray, and then slit his own throat with the knife. And all of a sudden, he just reaches right in and he just he pulls out the tongue and he just starts flapping out. And he's like, <laughs> and he's dead. The mother comes running in, she's screaming, Oh God, why did this happen? What did you do? <laughs> Mary, played by Je uh, Jessica Cameron, she said, well, He had to do that, mother. He had to do that for the sins. It's like, oh, it's going to be one of those films. Yay! <laughs> so, it's been a few weeks since the father's untimely passing. And the mother seems to notice that there's a couple problems going on with Mary. Uh, she's having nightmares. She's walking away from the house in her nightgown and uh, just bare feet and she's saying some things that don't seem to be too right with the way a 20 year old talks so she decides to get a, a family counselor to come to the house and talk to Mary and the uh, counselor seems to notice there's a few things going on with Mary like she's talking about Babylonian age how she's a demon and oh w when she's talking to the counselor her eye goes from regular to several different yellow and black ices in the head on each side. Realize, oh, I'm going to get the fuck out of here and I'm going to tell her I can't do this. So he tells the mom, listen, this is beyond me. I can't do this shit. Mom's like, why? What is, what's going on? It's like, she needs help. Here's a card to a doctor that can help. So she does and this is where read religion comes into play this situation now as i said this is where religion comes into play so the church has been aware of the situation going on with mary and the demon inside of her so the church decides they're going to get an exorcism uh, priest to mary's place and they want it to be done as soon as possible so they contact father blake played by jim and member inform him that this needs to be done you need to do it quick we don't care and father blake has said listen i've done this before it's destroyed me i can't do it and they don't care they said it must be done and it's like we'll take care of your parish everything will be fine you go ahead we'll bring you, we'll even give you someone to help, uh, help take care of this exorcism and father blake says fine i will do it give me the book and make sure everything is taken care of so they he hands on over to Mary's place and where he meets Father Lawson, his helper. While they're there, even before they meet Mary, Father Lawson feels a twing and a ping inside his head. And it's coming from the demon that's destroying Mary. And they're all, you know, the, the mother and Father Blake said, are you okay? It's like, yeah, I'm just a pain. So they decide they're going to go up and told the mother and the doctor that's there. It's like, don't come upstairs it's going to be too dangerous if you you're going to be your life's going to be in danger so father blake and father lawson go upstairs and this is where the real fun begins oh boy Ooh. now father blake and father lawson go upstairs and 
introduce themselves to Mary's demon and well things go really bad I mean really bad I mean there's tongue ripping out and eye gouging and blood and pus all over the place it's like wrong. it goes wrong I won't tell you how wrong but it's just gets bad then the church realized okay those guys couldn't do it let me get so uh, let me get another priest who can help out so they get father corbin play played by gene palabicki and he's sitting at a bar and he's you know telling the the same priest who told father blake to go and take care of him that he doesn't want to do it he's had it he doesn't want to be you know in this line anymore he just is finished and he told him you must you must do this you know for the for the entire world and you know father corbin says, something's going wrong it's like you want this to survive don't you it's like well maybe maybe we do and maybe we don't and then he convinces him father corbin you must go and father corbin says fine i'll do this shit and he goes and it becomes a clusterfuck i mean another clusterfuck after a clusterfuck it gets really bad and the i would just say maybe there's some remains of the old priest maybe there isn't like who knows something might be left in mary's bedroom oh and it gets worse and worse i mean let's just say the fun between you know father corbin and mary's demon gets nasty maybe this nasty <laughs> oh man it gets... that scene if you if if your stomach can't handle really nasty shit you may not want to watch it but give yourself a treat it's like oh i'm i might be a little hungry yum 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 Who, who's up for some intestines yum 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 and stuff like that occurs now i could tell you more about what's going on and how the ending continues but i won't because i want you to enjoy this and see for yourself it's fucked up it's really fucked up uh i could tell you details upon details of what what has occurred but i can't talk cause it's so you you watch it like oh huh? What the f- uh. Now let me tell you what I thought of the film. Well, I gotta say, I really love this film. This, out of all the exorcism films, this is like near the top. I mean, it doesn't beat the exorcism. Uh, Spencer, better than the exorcist? Um, no, because the exorcist, the exorcist. I, I love how much effort was put into this film. Stephen has a lot of knowledge of religion. He put so much work into this film. Uh, the special effects by Marcus and uh, Jeremy, or Jer uh, yeah, Jeremy, uh, did incredible, incredible work. One of the, I mean, the cinematography is fantastic. The editing, the sound, phenomenal only problem I have with is the acting of the mother which was over the top as well as the the main priest who was basically taking all the other priests to their demise uh, he was a little over the top but for the most part I loved the film um, and for a fan who did not like it Larry you uh, cocksucking beret wearing piece of shit uh, you you're a fucking moron um i i don't don't get you uh, but yeah definitely check this out it's incredible uh guys i appreciate that you took that time of your busy schedule definitely purchase this you won't regret it um next week i will be doing a short short film review and probably the same week after that um i'll try my my best to make sure i get a review for every every uh every week 
in the uh, the month of October. Guys, you've been fantastic. Please make sure to check out Song of Solomon. Uh, you won't regret it. Um, you've been awesome. You've been fantastic. Uh, and don't forget, uh, check in the description to where you can purchase your copy of Song of Solomon. Uh, and don't forget to check out my Facebook page. You, you'll get more information out of there than you will on here. Until uh, next time, I love y'all. Rate, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to Kool-Aid. See ya.